That's a six iron. I still got it. I like to play golf. Now that I've got my own fairway out here, I can crush a few balls down there. But that's not why I'm doing this video. The next four days, we're going to be getting a whole bunch of rain. And uh, sorry, it's cold out here. It's like about 38 degrees and a wind. But the next four days, we're going to get a buttload of rain. I've already scheduled, rescheduled all my customers. And I just picked up a, a bunch of new deals uh, for next week and the week after. Everybody knows the weather around here has been horrible. It's been unpredictable. But being that we're still in mid-February, it's no big deal. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while, especially about uh, anything that I'm going to be doing with these two acres out here. As you can see, all I have uh, done is disc it and just let the natural grass grow back in. But this year, I'm hoping to finally get something happening out here. I got a major problem that this used to be a GMO, a GMO soybean field. So I'm getting the uh, samples already sent off to Orange County Ag Department, and they're going to be able to tell me what I need to do to uh, correct the pH levels in the soil. Now, my other garden over there, that's good to go. I'm going to grow completely just grow vegetables in that. But I suppose, and from all the suggestions that I get from some of you guys that are, are farmers, believe me, I do take everything you say to heart. And, 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 and I listen to everything you say. But I'm convinced. I'm convinced one day... <clears throat> I can grow a good crop out here and figure out what I need to do to get it to grow and to harvest it and to sell it. Because when I get ready to retire, this is going to be where I'm at. And I've got to make sure that this land produces money. And uh, the only way to do that is between now and the next five years, learn how to make this land productive. There's a lot of videos out on YouTube already about you know making sixty thousand dollars a year on just two acres it takes a lot of work but when I get ready to retire I'll have nothing but time so as you can see it's a good piece of land but I really really want it to develop in, into something more and in fact my uh, neighbors coming up the driveway now and uh, Hopefully he'll help me. He's been talking that he he says he would. He knows I'm doing he, he knows I'm doing a video, so uh, he's he's cruising on down the, the driveway. And uh, again, I'm not gonna try to make this video too long or too much information. I just want to let everybody know that the primary objective is to eventually retire out here, build me a, a log cabin over there on the front two acres, and have these two acres over here be productive, and work on the back to get it to where I can put livestock back there. Okay guys, I just thought I'd give you an updated video. I'm so booked with work that I can't even get to. <laughs> it's just crazy. I mean. The, the weather here has been horrible, and it's been horrible everywhere, and especially up there in the Midwest, the Northeast. I know you guys are suffering, but Tom out of here. You know what to do. Here on the off-grid farm, waiting for spring to finally get here, but it looks like we've got a long way to go. And for all you golfers out there, six iron. And that's 200 yards to the road, and I hit it across the street, <laughs> just to let you know that. All right, guys, love you. Tom out of here.